Hello, everyone. Good morning. Uh, first, it's a pleasure to, to be here in my first uh, my first time on first conference. I hope you are uh, doing well and staying safe. My name is Cleverson. I'm a information security analyst uh, on CAIS, CERT from RNP. And here today with me uh, is my colleague Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Hello, everyone. I'm a cybersecurity analyst at Kaiser RNP Brazil. And I'm sorry for the delay, but we hope you enjoy our presentation. Well, together we are going to talk about Brazilian GDPR law, or LGPD as pronounced in Brazil, and the, the experience of CAIS and RNP. Okay. So, RNP, or RNP, is the Brazilian National Research and Education Network and is the organization that plans, designs, deploys, and operates the academic backbone that provides access to federal and public university, universities and federal research institutes, some private universities, totalizing almost 2,500 2, units uh, as academic campus in the entire country. Our backbone re reaches all the 27 states of Brazilian Federation, some with more capacity than others, but always in constant exp expansion. As part of our backbone already has traffic at 100 Gbps. Um, I'll tell you about CAIS. CAIS is the incident response team of Brazil Research and Education Network. We are on the road for 25 years and we manage the information security incidents and also offer technical support, security awareness to users and security vulnerability handling. Then I'll invite you to visit our page and learn more about guys, okay? Uh, the LGPD is inspired by the European regulation, uh, GDPR, as already we told you. The LGPD was approved in August 2018. It applies to any business or organization that processes personal data, data in Brazil. In other words, it regulates the, uh, the activities of personal data treatment in Brazil. So if the company has any customers or clients in Brazil or offers services or have operations involving data, it should begin preparing for LGPD. LGPD, LGPD defines authorized legal basis, principle of personal data processing activities, rights of personal data subjects, and guarantee of risk handling and security controls in personal data processing. What is the punishment applied by the, the law? Companies that violate the LGPD will be subjected to the applications of warnings, fines, suspensions, and partial or total bans to perform day activities. Fines can reach up to 2% of the organization's revenue with a limit of 50 million per violation. Uh, the academic network, R, uh, RNP or RNP, handles personal data in internal processes and provides advanced IT services to Brazilian academic community that handles some personal data. And the academic institutions can handle students, teachers, researchers, and employees' personal data in its ad administra oops, administrative processes and can collect and handle personal data of research activities or public health context. 
We address the challenge of support LGPD compliance actions through four main fronts. RMP internal adequacy, RMP consulting as a service. This front has specialists on the topic to support research and education organizations in the work of adequacy to LGPD. Privacy training, and the last one, uh, development of LGPD implementation method for customers use. This front helps to share knowledge and provide inputs, workshops, study groups, and training about privacy and data protection to prepare the institutions to adequate themselves. Beginning the data map. The data mapping uh, is very important to, to view and identify how the personal data flows uh, inside the RNP works, the company works. Once you have this understanding, you can make a strategic plan to answer some questions like, how much effort do you need to adequate your environment? How many resources do you need to LGPD adequacy? How to begin the LGPD adequacy? Well, here in this illustration uh, shows uh, we did some steps to perform the data mapping. Here we have the first step. Uh, identify the focal points inside the company and answer some questions about the workflow. Second step, uh, send, sending the, the data mapping spreadsheet to them. Third step, schedule an interview to validate the understanding and consolidate the data map. And perform and the last one perform the risk analysis. So uh, as you can see in this illustration here of data map, it can show you the method the methodology used according to the the label in the right side here. We have the blue circles representing the software yellow circles representing uh, the hardware, light orange representing the area or departments. So you can also see the small, small green circles here, uh, the D1, D2, D3, uh, representing the type of data as D1 um, for, as D1 represents employees, D2 for partners, D3 for external users. In this example, we have three internal systems uh, inside the, the, the data center, system, system A, system B, system B. Uh, the corporate email storing in the public cloud, the corporate email here, is storing in the public cloud and also an external agent. And here we have an office law. We also can see, can see uh, the arrows pointing the data flows directions. The area point uh, using the system, uh, system B, the area uh, using the corporate email and receiving the mail to for another areas or external agents. So after the data mapping consolidated, uh, the risk analysis, uh, the risk analysis was performed considering uh, the prob probability to possible data leak of personal data. This, this possible data leak of personal data includes all 
all circles, all points uh, here in the data mapping. Number of IT systems not approved used to data to store data. Data leak points uh, in an external environment. Here in this example, we have uh, the office law. And data leak points uh, outside the vulnerability management process and uh, the percentage of LGPD adequacy plan run. The impact, impact consists in personal sensitive data, where sensitive data value 10 and no sensitive data value 1. Quantity of personal data, number of different types of personal data. In this example, we have three employee, partners, and external agents. And as a result, as a result uh, the probability verse versus impact gave us the understanding to put in order, to put in order and classify the most critical areas and the most critical systems to prioritize its adequacy. Uh, until now, uh, all data mapping was done inside RNP along six months, and we got some some numbers inside uh, some numbers inside RNP. Seventy-six spreadsheets fulfilled, thirty-six interviewed areas, processing of five types of personal data identified. Processing of three types of sensitive personal data identified, 86 IT systems mapped, 58 IT systems that process that process a personal data identified. And the, as the result, we got 10, uh, 10 most. 10 most critical areas and 10 most critical systems to prioritize to prioritize to LGPD adequacy. Also, I'll tell you, I'll tell you some benefits obtained with data mapping. Good understanding uh, of how data moves in and out inside the company, view and documentation of data life cycle from collection, use it, storing, and the understanding of relationships of our, our company's processes, systems, and areas. Beside all that, we have the training the Network Academic School ESR, as a unit from RNP, provides to academic community training about privacy and data protection for managers, data protection officers or DPOs, and other public or private stakeholders. More than 150 professionals were trained until now. Uh, our goal, support Brazilian academic community to be compliant with LGPD, and more, help create a privacy culture in their entire activities. Share, share uh, practical experience acquired in the adequacy process, and work, work together with the other organizations to improve the privacy governance. And that's all. Thank you very much.